A newborn baby of two months had wings on his back and was flying in the room. It turned out that his mother worked in a chemical plant and long-term exposure to radiation led to the mutation. One day, the family couldn't find the baby. Eventually, they surprisingly discovered that he had flew to the top of a cabinet. His sister suggested that his mom see a doctor, but she was afraid that Richie would be used for research like a mouse. Mom used tape to fix his wings, but as the wings grew bigger every day, what could be done? Mom cut out two holes in his shirt so that the wings could be exposed. To prevent Ricky from flying at night, Mom put a sheet over his stroller and secured it with clips. At daytime, the family watched Ricky fly happily, but the house was so small that he often bumped himself while flying. So Mom attached protective gear to his body and put a helmet on his head. He flapped his wings like a moth around a light bulb. Mom was afraid he would get burned, so she turned off the light. Then he flew toward the window, hit the glass, fell to the ground, and cried. The baby was flying in the air in a supermarket. Shoppers stared at him in dumbfounded belief. Some people photographed him with their cell phones to record the amazing moment. An elder man even asked a shop assistant if he could buy the flying baby. It turned out that Ricky's mom and sister came to the supermarket to shop. After picking out toys, they discovered that Ricky was missing. He was flying too high. Shop assistants carried a ladder to grab him. But he was flying here and there. They couldn't catch him. Then mom remembered that Ricky liked light. She told the shop assistants to turn off the light. Sure enough. Ricky flew down to a lower refrigeration section. A security guard caught Ricky and took him to a hospital. An experienced doctor, who had never seen a baby with wings before, suggested that Ricky be left there for research. The mom disagreed and carried Ricky away. On the way home, a group of reporters followed them taking pictures. When they arrived at their house, neighbors also surrounded them in curiosity. Mom asked the doctor to cut Ricky's wings off, but the doctor said his wings were integrated with his spine, and cutting them off would be life-threatening. The baby was flying in the air like a kite. His mom was pulling a kite string in her hand. Reporters took pictures with cameras. Suddenly, the string slipped out of the mom's hand. Ricky flew higher and higher. People chased after him, but a river in front of them blocked their steps. People watched him fly farther and farther away and finally disappearing from sight. Mom shouted Ricky's name, but he didn't fly back. The family posted a missing person notice on posts of the street and distributed pieces to passers-by, but no message was received. As soon as mom heard a noise outside, she ran to the window. It's not Ricky, but a bird flying by. Mom blamed herself and worried that something bad might happen to Ricky who was outside alone. One day she walked down to the river and still didn't see Ricky. Disappointed, she walked toward the deep water and tried to kill herself. She closed her eyes and heard the sound of flapping wings. When she opened her eyes, she was surprised to find it was Ricky. He looked like an angel and his wings had grown so much. Mom asked Ricky for forgiveness. Ricky smiled and flew away.